Well, welcome to our home. As you can tell, it is November 1st and we have started to put up our holiday decor. We're starting off in our main room because of course, this is the center of the home and for us where we will be unwrapping presents with all of our family and gathering and sitting by the fire and <laughs> I can't wait. I am so excited. I might just actually explode. If the video ends suddenly, you'll know it happened. <laughs> we are having the biggest debate ever this morning. We've polled our children and we've asked ourselves this question, where is the Christmas tree going to go this year? And we cannot settle <laughs> on one answer. So I don't know if you can see this, but there is an extra stand sitting over here and we're going to try not one, but two Christmas trees in our living room this year. <laughs> okay. So I don't know where this is going. I don't know where it's going to end up, but what I do know is that we are ready to get our holiday spirit on and decorate this room for the holidays. And we're so excited to get to share with you what we're doing and what, what, what on earth we're doing and what tips and tricks we end up using. I don't even know. But what I do know is that it's going to be beautiful. We've got holiday music playing in the house. I've got the candle going and it's making the room smell amazing. The fire is going as well. And the spirit in this room, I even put my holiday blazer on. <laughs> Did anybody notice that? I'm <laughs> like, holidays. I love this time of year. It's going to be awesome. So right now I am literally just going through and separating out all of my greenery. This is the greenery I bought last year from a floral. Um, I've got a lot from a floral and I've got a discount code for you guys. I'll flash it up on the screen because I can't remember what it is right this second. I had a plan for the holidays and I'm going to try to stick to it as closely as I can. <laughs> But I want to keep my overall feel of my decor, but I want it to also have this feeling of like a wonderland. And I want to really take the greenery over the top. I love the modern feel of my room, but I really want to bring in this feeling like woodland creatures could roam through here. A reindeer could be coming up to the window and there's some sort of connection to nature with a little bit of glam and a little bit of modernness and a whole lot of timeless classic cheer. That's a lot of ingredients. <laughs> we'll see if I can pull it off, but I need to decide whether I'm going to do my Pottery Barn spheres in the raw natural color, if I'm going to bring up the orbs that are silver or gold. I've got a lot of decisions to make and I think I'm just going to start bringing stuff up. What I started to do this morning is I took a picture of the tree here. I took a picture of the tree over here. Sometimes that's the best way to get started is to just try something and stand back and take a picture of it because then it kind of removes you from what you're seeing and it helps you to be a little bit more objective. And so that's what I've been doing. That's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to share as much of this with you as I possibly can. But for now, I'm going to go <laughs> make another peppermint mocha. <laughs> You're so naughty. Okay. It's the, it's the first day of November. Okay. This is not the time to be, you know, holding back, but I'm going to make another pe peppermint mocha. I'm going to sort my greenery and we'll see where this thing goes. All right, you guys, so you can see here how over there I've got the kind of the raw looking spheres. Those are the ones there's one from CB2 and there's one from Pottery Barn. And I have not decided yet if I'm going to keep those or go with the, with the silver ones from last year. But right now I need to get these. Um, these are little things that I bought the little, um, holiday storage things. I bought those off of Amazon and actually they ended up being really helpful. So I've got to get the pine cone greenery out of here. You can see where I have some of the really cheap pine stuff. I use that as fillers here. And then the really good stuff is the stuff from a floral. I've got all that gorgeous. I think it's Cypress, isn't it? It's Cypress, right? Yeah, hopefully. And then I've got the tree here. This is the one from Amazon. And then I'm going to also try the balsam hill here. So <laughs> a 
<laughs> lots going on. I'm gonna get sorting. You can kind of see up here where I've got the branches that I actually bought those for fall. And then right as I was about to put them away, I thought, why don't I use those on the fireplace? And I was getting ready to put the magnolias also from a floral away. And I thought, oh my goodness, why don't I put those up on the fireplace? So yeah, that's where we are. <sighs> I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna get separating stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Decenio. You guys know that I am a super, super fan of Decenio. We have been using Decenio artwork in our home for literally <laughs> over 10 years. They have something for everyone. You guys know I tend to lean towards their abstract artwork. I have so much of it in my own home. I put it into almost every single client's home you've seen on this channel. Uh, I think actually every single one of them. <laughs> but their library goes so far beyond even what I have used in my own projects. They have everything from beautiful impressionism, you can have um, modern art, you can have landscapes. The options are pretty much limitless. Oh, the black and white photography section. It's just amazing. And they have amazing frames. You can get their matting. Recently, Decenio came out with a new product that I'm so excited about and immediately had to order for myself. And that is a canvas art. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so it comes shipped already completed. First of all, comes with the hanger already attached. So, so su super simple to be able to hang. And then of course, having the canvas means that there's all this amazing texture in the work of art. So this is something you've been seeing a lot more in my home, the canvas pieces. And when I saw that they had these, I was like, must have. So I know that you guys are going to absolutely love these. So click my link down below in the description box and use my code Valentina50. That will get you 50% off of prints and 10% off of frames, canvases, and personalized prints. My code is good all the way through December 5th. Holidays are a perfect time to give gifts, so make sure you check out that discount code. Now let's head back and finish up this room. Oh my goodness, while we're sitting there and chatting with each other, this literally appeared on the porch. It's like Santa's elves are already at work. I think they work at Amazon. <laughs> I want to have these on hand. I bought them in this black color. These do come in white as well. But one of the things that I struggle with every year is on the fireplace, that keeping the garland, I like for it to drape over the edges, but then what holds it up? Because once I start adding stuff to it, it gets really heavy. Command hooks like these are going to help. The other things that I also ordered are, um, I was gonna say grappling hooks. <laughs> That's really random. Uh, the little, um, I ordered another tree, <laughs> just in case I wanted two of the same tree. And I also, I know, I know, I glossed over that like it was nothing. I know, I ordered the second one of the same tree. I also ordered uh, zip ties. There we go, zip ties. I've ordered them in black because I want to put, did you guys notice that I um, redone the um, stairs? Here, let me turn it this way, I'll show you. Yes, I've had my painters here for the last few days and they have painted out all of my spindles, the handrail. This part was black before, but now we have all the spindles black and the wall is now white. So I needed some black zip ties so that I can get the garland to stay on here. I'm like, oh, I just paid to have it painted. I'm gonna put zip ties on there. I told them just to wait until after the holidays. I'll have them come back and do some touch-ups if it needs it, but I'm just gonna go for it. Generally, the zip ties do work. I have also ordered some Velcro as well. So I've got a couple things to try out. I don't know if we're gonna get all of those into this video, so make sure you stay tuned because we're gonna have a lot of ideas, but for now, I'm just getting started and we'll see where this thing goes. I'm gonna let you keep building out that tree and then we'll get to decide whether we are going to do one tree here, one tree here, or two trees in this room. All right, you need a vote in the comments right now which one you think we should do. 
because we do not know what the answer is. Or there's an alternative. The alternative is? Four trees, one for each corner. Or that as well. If we had a symmetrical room, I would think about that. That would be cool. Well, that would make sense then for the light. You're not here. mic'd up, so you have to come closer if you want to talk, or else I'm not going to be able to hear you. Not to that. That would make sense. Isn't the, I'm the oh. one with the mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go build the tree. <laughs> Silly. Woohoo! Looking good! Oh my gosh, are we actually crazy enough to put two trees in this house? I have to say though, like the colors are a little bit different and I know you. So we do have the second one of that one coming. Would it make more sense if the trees matched? Oh, because the light and the colors, that is going to yeah. crazy. I know you. We're going to put this one. I wanted to put it in the office in the front window. We're insane. Are we really thinking about putting two trees in this room? Yes. <laughs> Jack, are we seriously thinking about putting two trees in our living room? This is nuts. I've never done this before. I've never done this before, and I thought my mom was over the top. Your mom's tree does spin. That's true. Mom does have the spinning tree. Overrule just about anything we're ever going to do, but uh, yeah, let's, let's try it over there. All right. All right, guys. I think I'm going to stick with the balsam hill tree. <laughs> I know I'm a woman. It's my prerogative to change my mind. All right. Just the one. <sighs> They're not the same color. Okay. And you guys can't see that as much because I don't know if I can get them both in the frame here. There we go. I don't know. Like to you guys, it's, let me try to get out, out of the way to you guys. Let me know what you think. I think the fact that they're two different colors is going to annoy me. But I am obsessed with how this looks with the magnolias on there. And I've got a humongous wreath to put up there. So I think what I'm gonna do for now is why don't I decorate, start decorating this, and then I'll make the final decision on the other one after this starts to come together. Okay. All right, we're ready to hang the wreath, guys. <laughs> and it's huge. It is <laughs> and we're huge. a little bit worried. Why don't I stand on the step stool so I'll be a little bit taller? Okay. Right, because that would. Yeah. You got it? Yep, yeah. whoa. You're gonna have to take it over my head? I don't know how to do this. Oh, baby. You take, once you take this out of my hand, I'm gonna walk down and hold the ladder. Okay, okay I got this, you don't turn up the ladder. There's a tag, hang on. Okay, <laughs> okay, you got it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'm just trying to get it. I know, that's what I was worried. If you can just get it up and over on top of the ladder. Yeah. Do not step back. Okay, got it? Don't try this at home. <laughs> I, I don't think I can actually do this this way. Drop the wreath before you fall, okay? Yeah. Make sure your foot's fully on. Honey, I can move. You're the face. Honey, I can move. <laughs> it's stunning. All right, so there you go, guys. That's a wrap. <laughs> Christmas is done. <laughs> Now we only have all the other rooms in the house to do. This one took us all day to get just the greenery up. Yeah. We didn't even decorate the tree yet. I, know. <laughs> I can't get over how pretty it is. Do you think I should have added a ribbon? I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it. Oh, it it's just a little bit more minimal. My <laughs> God, I love it. What? It's What's not minimal. It's like almost the same height as you. No, I just mean without like a big ribbon. Oh, okay. There's no, you could have added a ribbon. You could have added ornaments. 
I could have added ornaments into this. That's true. I didn't add candles because I don't want flame going right up no, no, to that. Idea. I could maybe add them on the side, but all right, let's take the ladder out and then we'll decide. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good times. It's so much fun. Ooh, ooh, you need help? Nope. Oh. <laughs> you sure? Yep. Oh, God. Just don't put your fingers ever in these. Oh God, are you kidding me? I'm not putting my finger in there. <laughs> Do I look stupid? <laughs> That looks painful. Yeah, I can't Ugh. This is an alternative way to do it. What? Yeah. <laughs> Here, you hold it. I'll go up the rungs. You're starting to wonder why I'm scared of ladders? Here, Jack. Go ahead. Are you going to hold it? <laughs> Let's pass on that. Yeah. All right. Good morning, guys. It is actually day three on this because. We took a, we had to take a little bit of a break. We had some other work that we had to do in between this. But as you can tell, the video camera is set up and that's because we're trying to give you super duper close ups of what we're doing with this garland to get it up onto the railing. So let me turn you around. I'm gonna give you a little peek because I think you're gonna love this and I wanna make sure that I give you as much detail as I possibly can if you want to be able to replicate this look in your own home. So let me turn you around. All right, guys, we are literally in the middle of decorating all the other rooms of the house. And I have finally, finally managed to have messy hair. Uh, yes, and Jack is here and I got some greenery up here. And now he's decided that he wants to put some lights in here as well. Where'd you go? <laughs> They probably have dinner in my teeth. This is very uh, spontaneous here, okay? He wants to put lights in there. You guys are leaving suggestions saying that we should move the tree over here. Okay, let me show you the problem. The problem is that it's already decorated because we had decided that we wanted it to be over here, not over here. But <laughs> Jack has informed me that every five comments on our video about the garland, is saying that we should move the tree. So I think that we're going to try to put some cardboard underneath the legs and hope and pray that my method of squeezing the tops of the little ornament hooks down over the things will actually prevent us from, you know, having ornaments fall down on our heads. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And that's why I'm on my phone because I don't even know where the camera is right now. But uh, here we go. This is the disaster. This is what it's like here at House of Valentina. Chaos, <laughs> and then it all comes together. So that's half the fun. And we're not stressing out about it. We're just having a really good time actually. So the garland came together. I wanna to give you, I'll show you more of that later when all the lights are on. But yeah, we don't normally show you guys the house at night anyway. So it's kind of fun and cozy in here. So yeah, we're gonna to attempt to move it from here to here. All right, got the action cam. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Wow, this is a moment. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is, moved. I do not recommend trying that. <laughs> I do not recommend that at all. Can you push it straight? There you go, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right. Well, it's definitely, well, it's definitely moved. Now this looks soulless. 
<laughs> and we're gonna have to completely rearrange all of our furniture. <sighs> I don't know. See what I mean? How this side now looks sad. sad. And I don't know, <laughs> what are you gonna put in there? All right. <laughs> it's gonna go back, isn't it? I have an idea for next time. Oh, really? No, we sit it on the Roomba. Oh, that's a good idea. We just let it go wherever it goes. There you go. <laughs> we'll have it moving. We'll one up my mom in her rotating tree right. by having that. a tree that tours the house. How about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, she's gonna hear the attitude. <laughs> You're gonna be in trouble. You can't it. sass my mom. She knows. She's gonna find I'm out. Uh huh. She's gonna give it all to Parker. It's his favorite. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's just get rid of the coffee tables and put it in the center of the room. Yes, we could do that right here. <laughs> You guys can see how the furniture just, it's nothing, just literally not gonna fit. Works. It's just works. not. No. <laughs> well, I'll see you at the <laughs> That's a really funny look, Jack. All I see is like a little piece of your butt and your legs hanging out from under the tree. Those God, slippers, mmm. <laughs> This is this proof that he loves the slippers that I bought him? Yes. And I am wearing mine still as well. And Parker's trying to get out of the video. <laughs> I caught you. I caught you. Parker's like, please, somebody help me. <laughs> How did I end up with such weird parents? What? <laughs> you guys are totally normal. <laughs> I'm not just a piece of meat. I have feelings too, okay? Um, right now, you look like a piece of meat just laying on the floor. <laughs> Back to the wall. Well, I'm stuck on something. Yeah, it's called the wall. Oh, the carpet. <laughs> stuff. Yes, I know. Against the wall. You're gonna. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is way too much. Fun. Are you really gonna move it back and forth again? Because I'm six, gonna film that. Six hours later. <laughs> what? On the phone and let's take it off the cardboard. Okay. Okay, but you probably don't want, we want this part not on TV anyways. <laughs> Jack has a habit of using choice words when the tasks are difficult. I do not. Do, I think was what you meant. Yeah, they normally say, this is wonderful. Uh -huh. I love doing this. <laughs> All right, guys, it is our final day here, and Jack is helping me put up the finishing touches up on the wreath. We got some battery operated lights. Are those on a remote as well? No. Or just battery operated? Yeah. So you have to get on the ladder every time? No, they're on, they'll turn it, once you turn them on, they turn on the same time every day. Oh, okay. We'll make sure to link all of this stuff up for you, but yeah, I think. I personally think maybe we need them in the garland as well, but let's see how, okay. We're gonna see how they look in the wreath and then decide if we want them in the garland. We really can't put candles on the, like on the mantle because there's all that stuff right above it and it's too close. <laughs> we just not take that risk personally. At least I don't think so. Maybe we would if we were like in the room on like the side. I don't know, he won't, maybe I would. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're excited to get it all wrapped up so we can give you guys a tour. So everything's coming together and it's been in a very exciting few days. And yeah, well, let's, uh, by the next thing, they'll see everything together, won't they? Yay, they will. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there's Jack getting it all done. Whoop, whoop. All right, so let's count down. Shall we count them down? Should we say three, two, one, and... because the room is finished, at least mostly. I'm sure we'll make some tweaks. <laughs> I'm sure we will. As we get new things in over the next few weeks. But what do you think? How did we do? Uh, magical. <laughs> it feels so magical in here. And 
I just can't get enough of it. Yeah, we actually ended up being super pleased. Now, I know that there is the biggest thing that everybody's gonna wanna know, and that is, why did we leave the tree here? <laughs> I was looking back at our photos from two years ago, when yeah. it was behind the sofa, and it was really awkward on Christmas morning when all the presents were behind the sofa, and we had to like completely rearrange the room. We literally had to move the sofa from here to somewhere else. And we have more furniture now than we did back then. Yeah. So we have a really heavy uh, piece behind this sofa, and we can't easily move that piece. So we were no. just, there were a lot of factors that came into it, and ultimately for us, the reason that we decided to do it this way is because when Christmas morning is here, when we were, when it was in this spot last year, Christmas morning was pure magic. Sitting yeah. by the fire and seeing the tree and all the presents were by the fireplace. Well, I hope you guys have found some magic in this and some inspiration. But I do love this sort of feeling of neutrals and this raw natural overlay on something that's really modern. That's what I really wanted and I'm excited. So I know. Uh, I'm cheers. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. Uh, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and leave us a comment and let us know what you guys think. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.